Good morning, folks. Today we've got space weather, earth weather, earthquakes, and more. We are still awaiting CME impact at Earth, so let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com and see that the last day on our star was calm. Darker magnetic openings presented as opposed to slight pops and activity in that plague area on the south. Nothing major, and solar flaring still can't produce much of anything. Barely any sunspots. And as I mentioned, that CME we were expecting has not yet arrived, so we'll be keeping an eye on both the ACE and the brand new Discover SolarWind data feed. Finally, Discover has been made public with SolarWind data at the link provided for you below. Very intuitive and similar to the ACE graphs we know so well. A quick note, since the CME didn't arrive yesterday, it is weaker than our worst case predictions. However, that means the time between its impact and the coronal hole stream following from the dark openings could be shorter, and the closer multiple impacts are, the worse they're tending to be. So kind of a double-edged sword here waiting for the impact. Anyway, the seismicity gave us something to discuss as well as one above average rang the South Indian Ocean with also a mid-level but unusual location rumble near Hong Kong that is almost certainly a future earth spot track quake as the typhoon is now in the South China Sea and likely to run right over the earthquake zone after having said hello to Hong Kong itself. Let's take a moment at the wind map to see that while the surface level sees all lows sucking into the eye, the air's got to go somewhere. And as we come up through the atmosphere, you will see the sucking in change to a column and then an outflow as we get up higher where the air sucked in below exits at much higher altitude. Anyway, we've got systems on alert in the East Pacific and just east of the Caribbean. Hawaii will need to be on alert again as well as territories west of the Atlantic Storm Track. Folks, things have been rough in the northern hemisphere. Seems like every day we have a new flooding record or heat or hail or something. This was the scene in Baltimore over the weekend, and we should likely expect more of that tonight off the eastern convergence of the low, particularly where available energy is expected to ramp up at sunset. Folks, yesterday was update day over at spaceweathernews.com slash challenge. Love took a pass on round one, so we'll come round and try again. Also, folks, the Fly on the Wall episode from this weekend has a lot of good stuff, including geoengineering and chemtrail discussion, which is a topic so troll and disinfo-laden that we only discuss it on the website. Also had some fascinating articles up the observer's alley. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes on the solar wind as Earth impacts are imminent. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.